Suppose that we have determined that we need a 6% return to meet some goal, but we have not accounted for inflation, which we believe will be 3%. Using the additive method, we add our 6% required return to the 3% inflation to get a 9% required return. In other words, our investment dollars will grow by 9% per year, but inflation will erode away 3% of the dollar's value each year, leaving us with a real return of 6%. This method is easy, but not perfectly accurate due to compounding. The more accurate method is called the multiplicative method. In this method, we first express each of our values in decimal form plus one. The 6% return is expressed as 1.06, and the 3% inflation is expressed as 1.03. We then multiply these values together, subtract one from the answer, and convert back to a percent. We need a 9.18% return to end up with a 6% return after inflation. We could have also just typed this in a single line, 1.06 times 1.03 minus one. We can also use this method to account for fees. Suppose in this scenario that we were using a mutual fund to achieve our goal, and that fund has annual fees of 1.5%. In this case, we have our return 1.06 times inflation 1.03 times the fee 1.015 minus one gives us 10.82%. We need a 10.82% return to end up with a 6% return after fees and inflation.